Hi, I'm Dorcas. This video is about setting up for the first time on WordPress and I'm going to cover three important things that you should be doing. So I'm logged into my dashboard here and first of all I'm going to click down here into settings and you'll see where it says site title and tagline. I'm going to change them. So change them to the name of your website or company or business. So I'm going to make a website related to guitar stuff. So I'm going to call it guitar heaven and the tagline it's optional so you can leave it blank if you want or you can write out um whatever you want so for example i'm just going to write this is the tagline so you can see where that appears you can see where it says wordpress address and site address don't change them sometimes what people do is they try to move their website to a different location and they just simply try to type out the different addresses here don't do that if you do that everything will break so don't even change one character here if you do it and i say everything will break you'll get a completely blank screen you won't be able to log into your dashboard you won't be able to see the preview of your website everything will disappear so you're never going to change these here the email address you can leave that email address that's set as the email address for admin purposes and down at the bottom you click save changes so all we've done here is just change the site title and the tagline and then I click save changes and then always when you do a change on your WordPress website you always check it so for example I'm going to go to my preview refresh and you'll see down here now this changes so I can see that's where my tagline actually appears so maybe later I'll think of something more exciting to go there then the second thing I'm going to do is down here in permalinks so still in settings and then permalinks the default is that when a page is made within WordPress, it has some kind of random numbers and question marks and something like page ID equals four or something like this. So that doesn't give Google any clue what that page is about. What you're going to do is you're going to click here where it says post name. Then this little post name and the symbols will appear here. So you click post name, then, then down the bottom you click save changes. And what that does is it means that from now on, when you make a page, for example, if the page is called About Us, then the text About Us will also go into the URL or the link of that page. So that's, this is something that you do the very first day you're making your WordPress website. And then you click Save Changes, and then you can forget about it. It's done. You don't need to come back here. The next thing I'm going to do is create the home page. And the home page is a bit different from every other page on your website because every page on your website actually does have its own link. Whereas the home page, it actually lives on the root of your of the website as in when I visit website.ie the home page is the page that appears every other page will be website.ie forward slash something else so we're going to make the home page and I'm just going to create the home page and worry about content and pictures and stuff later but here I'm going to just click into pages and then I'm going to click add new and I'm going to call this home and then in here, I could just write in, for example, this is the text of the homepage. Later on, we can change that. And then over on the right hand side, I'm going to click, click publish, publish, publish or update basically means save in WordPress world. So I'm going to click this blue button, publish. And then you'll see if you check your preview, you'll see that nothing has changed. The homepage isn't appearing on the homepage. And the reason why I say it like that is because you've made a page called home, but you need to actually tell the system that that is the home page. So you need to assign it to the home page. So to do that, you go to appearance and then customize. So it's appearance and then customize and then click into home page settings. And the default is pre-selected, which is your latest post. So you can see here the latest posts appear. And that's the default within all WordPress websites. Um, because WordPress was originally made for blogging. But instead, I'm going to click a static page and then under home page, in the drop down, I select home. So you can see we have to make that home page first. Then up the top, click publish. Then click X in the top left hand side to get back to your main dashboard. And then go to your preview page, refresh, and make sure that it actually works. And you can see here my home page has appeared when I refresh and it's on the home page. So there are important things that you need to do for your website when you're getting started. So check out the next video for the next things you need to do.